Hi everyone and welcome along to today's webinar. My name is Roshni and I head up customer success here at Sweet Files. Now today I'll be taking you through our sweet new look and we're introducing a more streamlined way to manage your files and folders in Sweet Files. Now before I begin I'd just like to make sure that everyone can hear me okay and you can let me know via the chat or the Q&A section. If, if someone could let, just let me, that would be great. And the other thing to note is that we are recording and I'll be uploading this recording and sharing that with you so you can watch it all again or share it with your colleagues if you would like to. Perfect, sounds like everyone can hear me, so we'll get underway. So today what we'll be covering off is just diving into the new functionality in detail. So we have moved our folders and files into the same list and that will give us some more functionality uh, along with it. We have introduced new filtering options for folders and files, so I'll show you how to use those. We've changed our folder and file options in terms of their location and the order of them. So I'll just give you an overview of what those changes are. And if you're wanting to say rename a folder or delete a file, how you can do that. Now we've also introduced the ability to perform bulk actions on folders and files together. So if you're wanting to move, archive or delete those, then you can do those at the same time. We also have the bulk functionality on files as well. So I'll just remind you on how that uh, works. Now we've introduced an archived label for folders. And I'll also take you through navigating the new breadcrumbs. So not a whole lot has changed there, um, but it's, I've just got a few pointers to take you through today. Finally, for those of you who are on our super sweet plan, or for those who are interested in learning a little bit more about this functionality, we have also introduced a an option to multi-merge or multi-select PDFs, merge them together into one file um, for, for document signing or for just storing in suite files as one document. So stay at the end and I'll take you through that as well. So let's dive in. I'm going to just jump into my suite files demo site here. And I'll actually jump back to the home level, but hopefully you can already see that things are looking a little bit different. And so this is my demo site. It's a little, um, it'll be a little bit different to yours, of course, but hopefully you can see straight away that the user interface here, so the look and feel of this screen has been updated. So we've removed the side panel on the left that housed your folders and that middle section, which would have any files. And we've actually just brought those in together. So if you did have any files at the home level, they would be sitting beneath your folders here. So folders will now be alphabetically listed at the top and then files alphabetically listed below those folders. If we navigate through, so I'll just load my clients folder there. <laughs> Not too many clients in my, in my suite files today, but as you navigate through, you can see once we do have some files in a folder, like you see here, I've got my folders at the top and then my files below it. So having our folders and files in the same location means that we can do a lot more with our folders and we can perform bulk actions on them, which I'll show you through shortly. But if you do have a long list of folders and files in a particular folder of yours, we've introduced this filter. So this filter here in the kind of top middle of the screen says filter by name. Now, whenever you click into a folder, your cursor is automatically going to be placed into this field, which means that you can start typing straight away. So let's say I'm looking for a letter. I can type in the word letter. And as soon as I start typing a few letters, then it's going to give me those results in my view. 
we can just backspace to remove that, or we can use the X to clear those results. We've also got a last modified by option. So this is going to be a list of your colleagues. So if you're looking for something in particular that maybe you worked on, then you can use the last modified by filter. Just so happens that I'm the person that's been working in this cupcake bakery client folder. So I'm the only one that's in this list, but you can select more than one person if you have multiple people in this drop down, and you just unselect them. So click their name again to remove that filtering option. Finally, we have a file type filter. So these filters, the name modified by and file type are going to be visible across all of your subfolders. So um, it's, they're not available at the home level, but as soon as you jump into say your clients folder, you'll have these three filtering options available to you. So the file type, just keep in mind, you'll only see the types of files that you have in that list. So I don't have too many examples here today, apologies, but a folder, it's also worth noting, is considered a file type for this, for this purpose. So if you're just wanting to snap the view to just show folders, then you can do that. Or likewise, if you're just looking for PDF documents, you might just want to restrict your view by file type first and then use the filter so you can use multiple at once. So you could have Excel, you could have Word, you could have email. So any email files that you're filing through the Suite Files Outlook add-in, once they're in Suite Files, they're a .msg file. Those will be listed as a file type of email. So keep an eye on those file type and other filters and make use of those to find what you're looking for a lot faster. We have also made some changes to our folder options. So these are now visible in two locations. So you might recall from your current or the older view of Suite Files, when you're wanting to perform an action on a folder, you would have three dots that sit out to the right here and you'd be able to click those. So we've just moved that into more of a drop down. So you can see 2021, the financial year folder that I'm currently in has a little pointy down arrow. So just click on that arrow there and you'll find all of your folder options. We have removed the subfolder creation option from this, from this menu. So if you're looking for the create folder or create subfolder option, that is now found in the drop down in the top right corner. So under this create button. So if you're ever wanting to create a new folder, that's now done solely from the create uh, menu option in the top right corner. But all of the other functions that you're used to will be available in this list. It just does depend on whether or not you have say our super suite plan, or it will depend on your individual user role as to whether or not you'll see certain options under your folder actions. So share to connect is for super suite customers only, manage permissions and download is a restricted um, admin for admins only. The download option can be provided to standard users on a case by case basis. So if you're wanting the ability to download a folder in suite files, you'll just need to add, ask your suite files admin nicely to enable that for you. And then finally, the delete option will only be available to Suite Files admins or those of you who have been granted delete permissions by your Suite Files admin. We've kind of rejigged the order of things, but hopefully they're all, all the ones that you're used to using are easy to locate in this list. Any questions on that, please do not hesitate to ask in the Q&A section. Also, you can access folder actions for any of the folders that you see in your view. You can click on the three dots out to the right of that folder name and those same actions will be available to you from the drop down there. As for your file actions, these still hang out to the right of your file name. So if you click on the three dots, you'll see those file actions that you're used to seeing. Again, a couple of those like share to connect or delete will depend on your subscription plan or the permissions that you've been granted by your admin. 
The other thing that's worth noting is that we have introduced a little side panel, info panel here. So the way to use that, and we will be enhancing the functionality here in due course, but for now, what you can use this for is if you click on the info panel, that will give you some details about that file that you have selected. So to, to select a file, you just need to click on the row. So anywhere other than the file name is, is a pretty good uh, way to go about it. So anywhere in this space here, you can click that and then the file details on the right hand side will change depending on what you have selected. So you might have seen this info side panel in our recent view, as well as in our advanced search results. We've also introduced this into the new files view as well. To remove that view, you just click on the little info icon and that will pop that back uh, into the right hand side and keep that out of, um, out of sight. So pop it out when you need it and then just click that again to remove that from your view. Now, the other thing that we have introduced, and one of the reasons that we've kind of made one of these change made these changes in suite files is that you can now do bulk actions on folders, which is going to be really, really helpful. So one of the examples here is if you wanted to archive a couple of folders, maybe you have some historic financial years that you just need to clear out, um, you know, out of your view. So what you can see here is we've now split the multi-select or the, the checkbox column. That's now got its own dedicated column. And then we have the file or folder icon in its own as well. So you always can see what you're doing. Previously, you'd have to hover over this PDF icon and then that would turn that into a checkbox. So they've got their own dedicated homes now. And what you can do is you can select, say, a couple of folders. And then the actions that you can perform on those folders will be found in the top right corner of your screen here. So if you wanted to move those folders, you could click the move button, navigate through your site to where you want to relocate them to, and then click the move button. Click on the three dots and that will show you the other actions that you can perform with those two folders. So there's the archive option that I mentioned. And when we click on the archive button, those two folders have now disappeared from my view. For you, when you do it, it will just depend on whether or not you have this toggle in the top right corner switched on. So if I was to show archived content, you can see that they've come back into my view and now they have the archived label applied to them. So that is an, a new addition to this new view. Previously, we weren't, um, we weren't labeling archived folders as such. So we've introduced an archive label, which will give you visibility over what is archived and what is not in your site. You can also, if you've got delete permissions, you can also click the three dots here and delete those folders and the underlying contents of those folders, they will be moved to your recycle bin for 90 days. I'm just going to unarchive those. And in terms of performing bulk actions, you can, if you've selected folders, you can also select files. This is just prompting me that we've relocated the documents pack feature. I'll take you through this towards the end of today's session, but you might also see this pop up if you're on SuperSuite. So it's just letting me know that we've relocated the merge option and it's now found within the PDF editor. So if you haven't used the PDF editor yet, I'll show you where that is a little later on. But say I've multi-selected both folders and files, I've got the ability to move, archive and delete those in bulk together. So. Those are the options there for folders and folders and files. If you're looking to do more with your files, so say I've just selected three files, then the options are going to be a little bit different. So we have the ability to either move or copy files together. And we also have the ability to bulk download files as well as archive and delete them. 
So just to clarify, you don't have the copy or bulk download option for folders, but if you are bulk or multi-selecting files, then you will have the copy or download option available. So um, the download and copy for folders is something that our team are looking into and hopefully we'll be able to provide an update on that perhaps in the new year. So if that's something that you're keen on, then please do let me know in the Q&A because I can pass your feedback on to our team. So I've shown you the archived label and hopefully that archived toggle um, is really clear. It, there's no change to how that show archived button works. So that's been out for probably a year now, how time flies. The other thing that I wanted to show you through was the breadcrumb changes. And so if I, I'll just go into my annual return folder. So I'll just go another level in. I don't have any files in this folder right now, but you can see that at the top of the screen, I don't see the full folder path. So what I can do is always use my breadcrumb to navigate back a level. But in this case, I can't see my clients, the clients part of the folder path, nor can I see my home uh, folder as part of this folder path. But they are just tucked away neatly in this menu option here. So if you click on the three dots there, just to the left of the folder, you'll see that you'll have access to any earlier folders that are part of your breadcrumb from this list. So if I, if I want to navigate back to clients, I can do so from there. The other thing that is worth noting is if you are just simply at this level, so you're in that fourth folder down and you simply want to get back to the home level, you don't have to go and click the three dots to go home. You can always click on either files or the Sweet Files logo, and either of those options will get you back to the home page. So if anyone's got any questions on the new functionality that I've shown you, then please do let me know via the Q&A section. Probably one of the things that everyone is wanting to know is when you can expect the update. So some of you on our call today may already have the update. So we're just rolling that out gradually. And so we should have that out to everyone, hopefully by the end of next week. But um, if anyone would like early access or want that rolled out to them earlier, you just need to let me know uh, and I will be able to ask the team nicely to give you access to this now. And if anyone is wanting to stick around, what I'll be doing next is just showing you through the new merging functionality for multi-selecting PDFs. So you can use this to merge documents together. You can save them as their own new file. And it's perfect for sending a whole lot of documents at once using our Suite Files signing platform. So what I'll do is I'll just jump back into that folder that I've been working in today. I have a few files that um, would be perfect for merging. So let's say I want to merge these three files together. What I can do is jump into the first document. And in this case, this is a letter that I'm treating kind of as my cover letter. And what we will see once the PDF has loaded is that we have an edit button. So this is just letting me know that we can, we have some viewing options here. So if you click on your PDF um, settings here, you can change the page, page mode, transition or the rotation. So a little, a few settings there. But what I wanted to show you is once we go into editing mode, what we have available to us. So this is just also pop, popping out the merge button, which is quite handy. And just letting me know about the reorder, re rotate and delete functionality. So we've got a couple of different icons here, which I'll take you through next. So once you're in the first document, let's say you want to add additional documents to it. What you have been able to do thus far is select those one by one using the new, new merge feature. But now that we've got this new update rolling out, we have also introduced a multi-select on this screen as well. So jump into that PDF, go into edit mode, and then click this icon here, which is merge with. 
And then that will point you to the folder that you're currently in. And you can navigate around your site just as you would normally. So you can click on the breadcrumb there, use the filter to restrict your results that you see in this list. And once you're in a folder, those are the only files that you can upload as part of this process. So you can absolutely do this in a couple of goes if you've got documents that you want to merge that are in different folders. But for today's session, I'm just going to be merging files that I have in, in my folder that I'm currently in. So what I have here is an appendix and a tax return. So I actually want the tax return to be the second document and then the appendix to be the final page of my document. So what I would do is I would select those in order that I want them to be appended to the file that I'm already in. So I'll click on the tax return option and then the appendix. And you can see that as I select those pages or documents, they have a little number next to them indicating the order in which they'll be added. If I was to deselect the tax return file, you'll see that the appendix reverts to position one. So we'll select tax return, then appendix, then click choose. And now this letter has the tax return and the appendix file added to it. So this particular file looks like it's had a few markups um, added to it. So there are some annotation tools. So if you missed the annot PDF annotation or PDF editing webinars, let me know. We've got recordings on what you can do with those, uh, all of those features. So I can happily send that across to you. In terms of these, if I want to remove these from my final uh, document, then I can just select them, press delete and on my keyboard and then click delete, or I can select them, use that little trash icon to remove them. So I'll just do that quickly. The other thing that you can do is in the top left, you can select the annotations option and then there's a trash icon there that you can use as well. So that's all now relatively tidy. And rather than hitting save, so if I hit save now, because I started this process with this letter, now and then I've appended these pages one, um, two and three to this file, then I can either save, click the save button and that will replace that single page letter with this three page document. Or what you're more likely going to want to do is use the save as button and that will take the files that you've just merged and it will create a new file name for you that's gonna be based on that original file name and it will just say hyphen copy. So you can, rename this and then click confirm and that will refresh and it will open up that newly merged document and that original letter that we started the process off with will remain unchanged. The other options that you have in the edit mode with your PDFs is the document editor. So if you click on that, now that we're in this final version of the document, if you needed to make changes to the order of the pages, or if you needed to change the orientation of a page, so let's just for fun, just rotate this left, you can do that. Doing so in this editing mode will save that as the orientation. So as you're viewing the document, uh, on your screen, that page will now appear landscape. You can also duplicate pages that you have selected. You can select more than one page. So I'll rotate those both right, deselect them and say, I can delete that one page. So there's lots that you can do to play around with the um, document in suite files directly. So once you're done with any edits that you may want to make, you just click save on that. Uh, in this case, I might just click save and close because I'm done with that. And then back in my 2021 folder, we'll have those three base documents as well as that final doc, which I might now want to share with a colleague for approval or send that on its way through document signing. 
So that's all that we have to, to cover off today. So if you've got any questions, then please do add them to the Q&A section and I will do my best to answer those. Otherwise, I will absolutely follow up with you offline if you've got any specific questions um, around the update. Uh, Katrina's asked if there is any way to put a watermark on the PDF, e.g. draft or copy. So that is something that our team have had requested quite a bit. And so we are investigating what we can do about introducing a stamp functionality for your PDFs. So that um, is definitely on the wish list. So we can pop your name against that, Katrina, and give you an update. It's probably not going to be this side of Christmas because it basically is Christmas now, it feels. So we'll um, touch base again in the new year to let you know about that. Beautiful. Okay. If anyone has um, particular feedback about the update, please do feel free to reach out to me directly. Really keen to hear from you directly uh, there. So please do email us. I've got our help um, help center URL here, which is help.sweetfiles.com. We've got our support email address, which is support at sweetfiles.com. But please don't hesitate to reach out to me directly to have a chat. My email address is Roshni, so R-O-S-H-N-I at sweetfiles.com. Brilliant. Thanks so much, everyone, for attending. I hope you learned a thing or two about the new update. And we're really excited to bring this out to you. We've been working really, really hard behind the scenes. And um, you should see the update uh, roll out to your site in due course very soon. Thanks so much, everyone. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.